sure if you can hear me, but we're taking the S12 on a fucking road trip. Like three hours, three and a half hours, so it's a real test. Uh, we're about an hour in, going to Drift Central Drift Event up in Marina. We're staying with my aunt in Monterey. Uh, car's doing good, Therm thermostat's happy. We're all loaded up back here. And there's, uh, we brought four drift spares and a jack and two jack stands and all of our shit. So I'm pretty proud that we fit all that in here. Update you whenever there's something to update about. Please. Chaco Pass, there's the dam. The highway is cool. It feels really good right now. The weather is fucking amazing. The car's been doing good. We made it to our destination. We're here at the spot. My homie Andrew, he's helping me with uh, fixing this fucking fuel leak we found. Battery was acting funny too. When I uh, got here, turned it off, sat for a while, and came back to it, it wouldn't start. So we charged the battery for a second. I don't know if that did it. It didn't even charge that much, maybe like 10 minutes, and it kicked right on. So I don't know. Engine, you know, then there's a problem, you know, especially mm -hmm. like with mileage or something like that. Mine is too. Mine's all fucked up on my forerunner. I'm only getting 200 miles to a tank. Jeez, see dude, we filled up here and I'm at three fourths of a tank right now. It's a 10 gallon tank. This is what caused, this is what was causing it for sure. Not to mention- Engine's nice and clean though now. <laughs> and the sensor, <laughs> <laughs> the coolant sensor was detached again and uh, was making it so it was dumping fuel trying to warm up on top of this fuel leak. So those, that explains my goddamn Terrible, poor dumping fuel on the highway the entire way here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very glad we didn't catch on fire. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that was, yeah, really, yeah, that been bad, if that dude. was anywhere near the exhaust, I'd already been toast. Could do. Well, lucky you caught it tonight too, rather than showing up there trying to get in. It's like, uh, uh, you need to go home and fix this. Yeah, uh, there with my yeah, pants down. Right here is Seriously, uh, right, dude. And plug wires. It looks like it's low. That that did something. What? Yeah, I bet these wires just kind of wore out and uh, just kind of rattling on there. You know, not really secured. Yeah, you tell as soon as I take my hand off. Well, that fucking Ooh, narrows it easy. down. <laughs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> like, in fact, we could probably bend them up a little bit, like inside, just to spread them out. I don't know if you spread them out or clamp them down on this. But we'll see. But all right, uh, yeah. should just be the ends there, probably. Dude, what the fuck, dude? He's got that magic touch. Yeah, it's probably also the wires themselves, too. Yeah. Do you think it's still good to drift on? The fact that we fixed that fuel leak is huge. Oh, yeah. That could have, my yeah, motor could have. You can't have fuel leak. can't have race track either. Like I'm saying, the geez, whenever you hear something wrong with the car, guess what? There's something wrong. No. <laughs> yeah, no. But This is uh, screws a little bit loose. They might have, yeah, but that's not very loose. But they were uh, fixing the fixes, so it's 
in with the uh, Chevy shaking around. We just kind of on top of the fuel leak. Oh, that, well, that we fixed that. Yeah, right here on the street. We just tighten the, tighten these guys up. Yeah, kind of up there, tighten them both up. Fingers crossed. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. Oh fuck, dude! Results! Look at that! Results!